Hello, beautiful beings. If you're interested in a super cute, super simple, super cheap DIY that not only makes your room look adorable, but also reduces the amount of plastic out right now, keep on watching. Before we begin, an entire supplies list will be available in the caption down below. So first thing you're going to need is a whole bunch of plastic bottles. My fairy lights were about 100 or so bulbs, so that's how many I got. If you don't have enough plastic bottles at home, ask for your family and friends recyclable bottles. Next, you're going to want to use either scissors or a scalpel to take off the top of the water bottle. Most water bottles have a dip in this area, so it's an easy guide. Next, we'll use our cutting utensil to create sections with the remaining plastic. This will form our petal. Most water bottles have lines which separate the bottle perfectly in half, so you can use that as a guide to make two halves, and then from the two sections, create two or four more. When cutting out my sections, I cut all the way to the neck of the bottle. So here I've taken my bottle top, found the line, and I'm using a scalpel to cut down. It's actually a lot easier to use a scissor, but I was trying out the scalpel. So it's a little hard to see, but I'm actually showing you the two halves of the bottle, which I will then create two more sections for a total of four petals. Here is where the flowers start to come to life. I'm bending back each petal, and you can see it's already starting to make it look more like a flower. Using your scissors, round out the rough edges to make it look more like a petal. Leaving it just with a round petal makes it look like a very beautiful and basic flower. But if you want to get a little bit more creative, you can mess around with the flower edges or even add any other details you'd like. Because I had so many flowers I needed to spray paint, I took a large piece of cardboard and glued a bunch of caps on there so that I could screw on several bottles at the same time and just spray paint a whole bunch at once time so with this huge cardboard I ended up doing probably like three or four runs but it was a lot quicker than spray painting all of them individually as you can see some of the flowers I left some negative space some I spray painted completely personally I just really wanted to play around with the use of some negative space left behind however you can choose to do whatever you want this is just what made it look appealing to me Unfortunately, I lost all footage of me cutting up the flowers into the actual shapes. So if you need to pause the video a couple of times to look at how I made my shapes, feel free to do so. Here's a look at the flowers up close. After I spray painted all of them with my yellow spray paint, I went ahead and did a coat of clear spray paint. It's not necessary, but it does help protect the color a little bit. So some flowers I made open, some of them I made them close as if they were budding. However you make your flowers look, once you're done spray painting them, it's time to create a hole so that you can put the lights through. I don't even know what this thing is called. I found it in my boyfriend's toolbox, but it worked fantastic. You can also use scissors or just anything that's going to create a hole that's going to be big enough for the light bulbs. Please be careful, I did jab myself a couple of times because this was really sharp. So yeah, be careful. Now the fun part begins, assembling your fairy lights. So all I'm doing is poking the light bulbs carefully through the hole. Now we don't want to do it too roughly because, you know, we don't want a light bulb to break. Um, we don't want that glass getting anywhere. Or quite simply, it could just not light up. So please just be careful. Alright guys, here you have it, the final look at our project, all lit up and beautiful. If you guys try out this DIY, please let me know, I would love to see how yours came out. Until next time, peace, love and light, namaste.